and today we're going to look at how to multiply whole numbers by 10 and 100. I'm going to use a baseboard and a place value slider to help me. Let's start by looking at how to multiply 42 by 10. I'm going to partition 42 into 10s and 1s. 40 is 4 tens, so I'm going to stick 4 in the tens column. And 2 is 2 ones, so I'm going to stick 2 in the ones column. Each column to the left on the baseboard is 10 times bigger than the column to its right. So if we look at my baseboard, 10 is 10 times bigger than 1, and 100 is 10 times bigger than 10, and 1000 is 10 times bigger than 100. As each column is 10 times bigger, to multiply by 10, we need to move each digit one column to the left, so it becomes 10 times bigger. So here, 4 tens become 400, and 2 ones become 2 tens. But we can't leave the ones column empty, so we need to put the, the zero in there. We can also show this by using a place value slider. I have written 42 in the tens and ones column of the place value slider. As we are multiplying by 10, we need to pull the slider so each digit moves one column to the left. I then have to write zero in the column which has been left empty. We can see that from both of these that 42 times 10 equals 420. This time we're going to look at what happens when you multiply a whole number by 100. Let's look at 75 multiplied by 100. I'm going to partition the 75 into 10s and 1s. So 70 is 7 tens and 5 is 5 ones. We already know that one column to the left is 10 times bigger, so two columns to the left are 100 times bigger. So when we multiply 75 by 100, 7 tens move two columns to become 7,000. And 5 ones move two columns, columns to become 500. We can't leave the tens and ones column empty, so we need to put zero in the tens and ones column. We can also show this by using the place value slider. I have written 75 in the tens and ones column. As we are multiplying by 100, we need to pull the slider two columns to the left. Then I have to write zero in the columns which have been left empty. We can see from both of these that 75 times 100 equals 7,500. So why don't you pause the video and have a go at some yourself. I'm going to give you the answers in 3, 2, 1. For 87 times 10, each digit needs to move one column to the left. So 80 becomes 800 and 7 becomes 70. And we add the zero into the ones column. So 87 times 10 equals 870. For 28 times 100, each digit moves two columns to the left. So 20 becomes 2000 and 8 becomes 800. And we need to add zeros to the tens and ones column. So 28 times 100 equals 2,800. For 93 times 100, each digit moves two columns to the left. So 90 becomes 9,000 and 3 becomes 300. And we add zeros to the tens and ones column. So 93 times 100 equals 9,300. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!